Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a red, white, and blue butterfly mani. I'm going to use some reverse stamping on it. I've started off with Nautique's Formula 2, and this is A. England's Spirit of the Moors. And I topped it off with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'll be using KN34 on my little spark mat with my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and Nicole Diaries White, which is NS01. And I'll be filling in the design with China Glaze Ruby Pumps. So I'm just going to pull some different images off of this plate. Um, this was kind of like just a playing manicure. Um, it's something I'd seen floating around in my head for a while and I just wanted to see it on the nails. So I decided to use some of these different images. I'm pulling off that excess with a piece of tape so that, you know, I don't have to mess with it later. And here I go with my little dotting tool, and I'm just going to fill this design in all, you know, easy-like with that um, little dotting tool. Trying to stay within that, you know, outer line. And you guys, if you've watched my channel for a little while, you know I have an obsession with this polish. It's just, it's really one of my favorites. Ruby Pumps just is, ugh, I just love it. Love it, love it. So much so that I've gone through like four bottles of it. Three or four. It's crazy. Uh, I, you know, I don't know how many. I've, I've hardly never finished a bottle of polish other than like black and whites. So there we go. Looking pretty good. And I've decided I'm going to use some of these little wing images also. Lunk it up. There we go. And I'm going to fill that one in just like I did the other one. Just kind of smear it dotted around and I had been you know I, I don't know I have an obsession with butterfly manicures anyway and um, but this one just kept coming back coming back the memory of it the thought of it everything so I thought okay I got to just do this so I thought while I had this blue polish on my nails I would go ahead and give it a try I do think that if I did this as a full nail design, you know, and, and really wore it, you know, like out in public and wore it, wore it, I would probably pick, you know, one of the images and just kind of do it that way. And and you'll see how I put them on my nails. I kind of put them on kind of straight. I would probably catty corner them, you know, or put them on kind of diagonally, just and maybe alternate them. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think after you see the final manicure. What how, how you would how you would go about it or if you would just do just an accent nail or two you just never know you guys know I'm on the over overboard bus I like to overdo it all the time I'm gonna use some of this pro FX sticky base coat to um, you know help these decals transfer over to my nails and stick pretty well because I had to let them dry you know there we go. Straight from the stamper, I'm just going to line them up and put them on my nails. Like I said, I think I would have been better off kind of doing them diagonally or, you know, I don't know. Just some of that, you know, live and learn stuff. There we go. Tapping it down. And I'm going to put the wing, you know, that one solid wing. I'm going to put that on my ring finger. And I will warn you, it's not 100% dry. I get a little mushage going on here, but the manicure ends up making it. So there we go. So I gotta push it down on the side. Oopsies, got some ruby pumps like everywhere. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup with my acetone and my cleanup brush. Not very much, not a whole lot to clean up here. Just kind of out of habit, I go around them. And then now we'll do this pinky, little little old pinky, and that one don't quite fit, but we're just gonna take the extra off. Still looks like a butterfly. There we go. So I'm gonna top this with some posh top coat, and we're gonna call it done, finished, to did. But I would love to hear what you think about this, and you know what kind of alterations or changes you would make to it. Um, like I said, this was kind of one of this play it on your nails kind of manicures for me. So I just, um, you know, 
that's how it goes. So I got a swatch photo coming up here in just a moment, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I want to thank you for watching, and as always, until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.